and welcome. Um, today, to start off our videos, we're going to be looking at exponents. Um, exponents and how they work. We learned in class about the base, the exponent. We learned about um, how they multiply up and also how they can divide down. And this video is just going to show you how exponents work. Okay, uh, I'm just going to start off with a model. This is just going to be just a normal number line. Instead of making a double number line, I'm just going to have it um, focus on each side of the number line here, okay? Um, if we do our basic basic exponent, let's say two to the power of one, we know that two to the power of one is the same as, well, two, right? Because it's two, well, one time, two. If I go to my next one, which is two to the power of two, I know that that's the same as two times two. Well, two times two, that's the same as four. If I go on to the next one, 2 to the power of 3, well I know that's 2 times 2 times 2, or I can just take my 2 times 2 which is 4, and then times it 2 again, which is 8. Okay, and so on, so on, so on. I have 2 to the power of 4, that looks like 24, 2 to the power of 4, and that's the same as 16. All right. Um, if we look at the pattern here, each time my exponent plus is 1, what happens to the bottom here? Well, it, it doubles, doesn't it? All right. And then this one here, I the exponent is plus one, so that means down here it's going to double again. So every time the exponent increases by one, my value actually doubles. Well, what would happen if I worked the other way? If I said, okay, I'm now going to decrease by one. Well, if I use the same logic, I now come back over here. When I decrease by one, I have to do the opposite as doubling, which is halving. Halving the same as divide by two. Okay, so if I go down again, let me just like zoom out a bit so we can see more. So if I go down from, um, let's just start right here, to the power of two. If I subtract one uh, exponent, that means I'm going to have to go from two, or sorry, four, I half of it, I get to two. Well, what if I go down again? Two, and I subtract one exponent. That means one minus one, two to the power of zero. I keep that pattern by subtracting one exponent means I have to half my value. What's two divide two? Well, that's one. So two to the power of zero is one. And I can actually keep on doing this. If I wanted to, I could go to the negatives. If I have two to the power of, well, zero minus one, negative one, which means I have to take my value here, which is one, and I have to divide it by two which would be 2 to the power of 1, negative 1, which would be 1 divide 2, 1 half. And if I chose to keep on expanding this even farther, let's just pretend that wasn't there, I could say, all right, but what if I have 2 to the power of negative 2? Well, I subtract one exponent, which means I have to half my value, divide 2. So half of a half, which is a quarter. And there we go. That's the pattern for exponents. And this is true, this works for any number, any number you want to put in here, if it's a fraction or if it's a whole number, it does not matter. Every time I increase, I get larger. Every time I decrease, I get smaller. And this here holds true for everything as well. Anything to the power of zero should always be one. All right. So those are the patterns of exponents. Hope that helps. And um, I'll catch you in the next one. Bye now.